have a local diner and I've never been there in the evening to see they have colored lights changing. It's kind of fun. I took a little video just for the heck of it. Well, I'm getting very, very tired of just brown, brown, brown outside. So I cheated a little bit and picked up some pretty spring bulbs at the local store. They were very inexpensive, but it really cheered me up and made my window look a little springy while everything is so brown outside. We've had snow on the ground for almost two weeks. It just hasn't melted. It's been so cold. But today, some did melt. I thought I would do a quick run around the garden just to see how things were hanging in there. Uh, so this has been the worst winter we've had in five years. This is one of two olive trees that I had potted and brought in the house in winters. And I've planted them outside in the ground. One last year and one this year. So far, they're doing pretty well. Time will really tell how they hold up. And same with my rosemary. I didn't get a chance to cut it this fall, but it looks really good. It seems to be holding up. And uh, the witch hazel is starting to uh, break out in some blooms. Of course, the little break in the weather did not last long. We suddenly were having our fourth storm in two weeks. It is getting a little tiresome. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to plant my garden. I'm ready to sit in the garden and start pulling weeds. I know it's February and this is what we should expect, but I'm still tired of it and ready for spring. Enjoy a few winter pictures of my garden. Here's a little walkway tip that I've been doing for a few years. On any kind of wooden walkway, you can nail down broadcloth and it will give you traction under snow and ice. It works really well. Mm -hmm. 